So in the previous video, we've created the roles, we've created the permission, and in this video, we're actually going to create the user so that we can assign uh, we can assign roles or uh, permission to the user. Um, before I continue, I want to say uh, I've been busy working on this particular project, uh, Laravel roles and permission, so that it can be available for you to install into your uh, into your project directly so you can just start using it directly without having having need to write all this code from the beginning so uh, in this video uh, like I said we're going to be creating the user page and uh, I think we should get started and also I'll be concluding this video very soon uh, it's taking longer than I expected uh, because there's a lot of new features that I was adding and uh, uh, I got some messages on YouTube uh, um, I got some mail to telling me to create uh, the edit rules and edit permission pages I've actually created the edit permission page in previous video but I haven't created the edit role but I don't think uh, uh, I don't think I will be doing the edit roles because uh, I don't really have time to do it but at the end of this video if I have time I can just do it and uh, actually the edit edit role is actually easy it's the same way you you do the create roles it's, that's how you do the edit role too so um, so let's just get started creating the users page and, uh, yeah so the, I've start my local server I've run my npm serve command and I just need to start my um, wash machine so um, the last uh, the last time we we created the role successfully we've installed Azure so let's just go back to create this user page so uh, the first thing we need to do is actually create a controller the user controller and also create a so let's get started so uh, let's just come over here and uh, create the user controller controller and this will be user controller and I want this to be a resource controller uh, in my previous video, I explained what a resource controller is. So let's create that. Okay, the controller already exists. Uh, I think I've created that already. Uh, let's check the web. Yeah, I've created the controller already. I've, I've forgotten I've created it already. So let's go back to the controller and actually see what's on it. Okay, we've okay we've used this controller to actually uh, update the user profile okay that's good and uh, let's just go ahead and use and create the uh, the rest of the users page so um the next thing we need to do right now is uh, uh, we need to link so let's go back to admin page and actually link this and we can say route and just say user dot index so this what is actually going to do is a it's a resource controller so this is just going to map the user dot index to our index method in the controller so we have that and right now the index function is not doing anything to actually test this out we just need to go back to the controller and just do something with the index controller so if I should go over to and just say return let's just return the string for example and say okay and let's just refresh now 
so you can see the string right here and uh yeah so this is what we actually going to be doing so at first let's just return a view and the view is going to be a user view dot index and that's so and we don't we don't have the user view right now and we're going to create that so if I should go back to view I need a folder uh, called user I need this folder I need I need to create the the index file inside this folder so I'm just going to control shift s this and go back to views users and actually save this so uh we need to so we need to remove all this and just say let's just remove all this so let's just come over here and copy all this and remove this so let's just say this is the users so let's refresh this right now and voila so we have the user page but this page is not ready i want to build the user page using vue.js and um uh, yeah so let's go back to our vue.js um uh, folder our component folder and uh come over here and come to components and create a new file right here let's call it user.view so in this user.view we actually need to register the component so our view can know we've created a new component and to do that we need to go back to our app.js hopefully okay our app.js and actually register the components here so let's just say user and go back to user I think um, user so um, another thing you can do is you can copy all this file and actually create a new file right here and call this component the GS and just and let's just open that um let's just see let's just open that and paste this right here and uh, the reason for this is just to to reduce the volume of code that we're going to write in our app.js and right here we can just require the file so let's just say require and component and this is actually going to be a string and I say component so that's all we need to do and uh, if I should refresh this page uh, it's still going to it's still going to get the same result and um, we actually need to come over here over to our user in this page and um, where is it right here and we are we need to have use the component right here and let's just say user so hopefully all this makes sense to you and uh let's just refresh this page right now and uh before then let's just create an output and let's just say let me just close all these files uh rule controller we don't need that we don't need this and let's just say this template and uh, slash template so let's have a div and let's just say user component so um let's just wait for that to compile So that has compiled. Let's just refresh this page and see what we get. So we get our user component, and this shows everything is okay. And um, 
what I need to do is actually create a table that will hold all the information for the user. We've done something similar to that in the permissions and the role table. So if you check this, we need to create a table like this. And um, I'm just going to okay. I'm just going to copy the table directly from the file project, uh, the project files. So I'm going to pause this video and I'm just going to copy the HTML directly from the project file. So, so I just finished um, importing the HTML code and when you actually see see the project file is going to be different from this because uh, by then I will have added the the data into the table so but for now it's just plain HTML codes and elements and the rest of it so let's get started so let's get started building this user page so this is what the table looks like for now so I'm just going to remove this all users it's not relevant uh, yeah so if I should refresh so we have this uh, table right now and this is the search box where you can actually search for users and uh, this is a button where uh, which we're just which we're going to be building on later and if you click on this button I want a pop-up I want a model view to show up and actually create the user from there so for now if you click it nothing will happen because I don't have the model right there and uh, these are many more we'll be building in this user page and uh, actually I have the view edit and delete so we'll be building most of all these things in coming videos so uh, I think I should end this video right here and I'll see you in the next video